Well, South Australia is transitioning from traditional manufacturing, uh, high volume, low value, to advanced manufacturing, submarines and frigates, uh, as well as being very engaged with the health industries and food manufacturing. So this is a very smart, savvy state with highly sophisticated universities in the top 1-2% to in the world, building its economy around intellectual property. In that regard, we have a lot in common with France. Any economy in the world not basing its future around intellectual property, ideas and innovation will flounder. Uh, the future of the world economy and national economies is hinged to generating ideas and innovation. This is an important collaboration between France and Australia and particularly South Australia. We both understand this important point. So it is really about uh, what uh, product you can develop how soon you can generate the next generation of that product um, and keep constantly evolving and changing and improving. The countries that can do that will succeed, the countries that can't will struggle. Uh, one of the important things is how the technology is going to be transferred from France to Australia and the level of Australian industry content. Um, it was to have been 90%, that's what was spoken of at the time the contract was won. Uh, we need to now see that figure uh, in the contracts, but these are problems that can be solved, these are arrangements that can be negotiated. The important thing is that France being a stable, uh, respected leader in Europe, Australia being a stable, respected leader in Asia, have an opportunity now to build something together that builds a bridge between Europe and Asia. Australia is a very good place for DCNS to be uh, based uh, and to be building submarines in this region. Um, there are great opportunities in this region and Australia could be no better platform for a French company to establish such a major venture. This is a $50 billion program. We have a stable legal system, a sound economy, solid, stable politics and we live in the middle of 3.5 billion people. Uh, it's a big market. So this is a great time for these two countries, France and Australia, to work together on such a big project. Our challenge will be to extend this success out into other industries, mining, oil, gas, renewable energy, um, IT, um, into those other areas, health. Now all of those will have crossovers with the submarine program. Our challenge is to build an ecosystem that enables us to extend the collaboration outwards.